let's have a look at these um, very difficult uh, progression questions. Um, for these kind of progression questions, right, I would say it's very challenging because why? You cannot directly get your R value, ratio value by doing a second term divided by first term and so on. You kind of need to understand what the question wants uh, before you can move on. So let's read the question. They give you a series of sequence here. So they ask you to show that the sum of the first two n term, I believe the very important keyword is the sum of the first two n term here. All right of this sequence is uh, this equation. So that's mean you do until the end, you, you kind of need to guess um, the final result is half three power of n minus three power of one minus n plus two. All right, so, okay. If you see carefully, you should kind of understand, right? The sum of first two n, right? Basically means what? They need to sum like any two number like that. This is because when n equals to one, you kind of need to sum the first two term, right? When n equals to two, you need to kind of need to sum all the four term here, then right? when n equals to three, you need to sum of all the six term here. And I can see some pattern for the term one, three, five, uh, one, three, five, and seven, and so on. And then the pattern for two, four, six, eight. So I kind of want to separate them into two different uh, sequence here. So the first one is one, then third one is three, nine, 27 i believe the next one should be 81 and so on all right then the second type of the sequence is stuff is one and then the second and the fourth one is one over three and then the sixth one will one over nine one over 27 and one over 81 and so on okay so this is the two different sequence i, I get from the first sequence here easily get the a is uh, one and r is basically multiplied three right this one a is actually one. The r is basically uh divide three, or we call multiply one over three, isn't it? Or you can just say it's a second term divided by first term. You will kind of get the r value, right? So in order to do the sum of uh first two and term, right? I I kind of need to like plus two of them, right? So if I want to plus two of them, I kind of need to know uh what is the sum of this term? What is the uh s n? I would say s n one. And then here for the second sequence, you should have some S N two. So right now, if I want to do S sum of two N here, my logic is I trying to do the sum of S N one plus sum of uh basically it's S N two here. I try to plus both of their um uh, S N together to get my sum of the first two N. Right, so you should be able to get some idea, right? Okay, so. Uh, for SN formula, uh, it's very depend what is your R value in that. If this one R is bigger than one, we will use the A and then RN minus one over R minus one. So from this one, I will just say SN, um, A is one, my R is three, power of N, and then minus one. And then bottom is three minus one, which is two. All right, so if the bottom one, this R is less than one, right? If R is less than one, I will use another one, uh, which is A, 1 minus rn over 1 minus r right so my a is 1 my r is 1 power 1 over 3 power of n over 1 minus 1 over 3 which is negative 2 over 3 then it hey, no it's positive 2 over 3 my bad is 1 minus 1 over 3 yeah it's positive 2 over 3 all right so right now what i want to do is i want to plus the both of them together to get my sum of first two n so this is what i will try to do here okay so this one um i would say is, is equals to one i will just ignore this one is basically um three power of n minus one uh over two plus the second one this one let me simplify a little bit i don't like the way the way it look like all right this one divided by two over three is basically is same meaning with multiply three over two isn't it because the fraction, the denominator is 2 over 3, is same idea with the whole thing multiplied by 3 over 2. Alright, this is 1 minus, 1 over 3 in, in indices, we know this is 3 power of negative 1, right? So negative n. Okay, negative 1 multiplied n, though this is the reason why I get negative n. Okay, you should understand this basic. So, I will just try to make them look like the same denominator. Should I multiply the 3 into it? Yeah, I can multiply the 3 into both of them. The whole thing uh, over 2, right? The 3 I multiply the first one, is I get 3. Okay, 3 multiply this one. It's 3 negative n 
multiply 3 by 1. So this one I can say is multiply mean plus, right? Negative n plus 1, isn't it? So it's 1 minus n. Okay, this is just some shortcut here. So this one should be um, minus 3, 1 minus n. Okay, so I need to plus the whole thing like this. Uh, 1 minus n, not 1 minus 2, 1 minus n. So 3 minus 3, 1 minus n over 2. So same, they are same denominator. I can group them together, look like this, isn't it? So the top, I will just try my best to plus them. This is 3 power of n. Uh, minus 1 plus 3, I get plus 2 here. And then here, I still have a minus 3, 1 minus n. And then if I take my uh, denominator, come out, become 1 over 2, then I will get the answer that I look for, isn't it? Let me say, Sean. So if you see carefully my answer and the answer that one here, you realize they have the same answer, right? Yep, this is how we solve this kind of uh, progression question. I would say this kind of progression question is quite hard if you never see something like this. Anyways, I hope this short video helped you to understand how to solve this kind of question. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.